It was very upsetting, though, I have to honestly say. When you're so the Fair Oaks couple shocked Sacramento County declared her dead. And it was time to call Curtis to investigate. Well, the news came from the tax assessor, but we found her breathing. You can't chop vegetables when you're dead or stop to smell the irises or water the garden. <laughs> Janice Reardon is the most active dead person ever. I am alive, very much alive. And I'm still married, happily <laughs> married. <laughs> she tells me all the time. But husband Mike got this confusing letter from the Sacramento County Property Transfer Division referencing a possible transfer due to the death of an owner. She called the tax assessor. So she said, according to our records, uh, Janice Rudin passed away on February 6th. And I was like taken back, like, um, this is Janice Reardon, and I'm very much alive. They claim that info came from an obituary. Janice then found it. Janice Reardon, Jan, our sweet, lovely, talented, and funny mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, and friend, passed away on February 6th, 2019. She gets emotional reading it. Sorry. It's, it's tough to read uh, your name in the newspaper, you know, that she passed on. But look closer. It's obviously a different Janice Reardon, different birth date, different husband. I find it appalling. Just appalling. Oh my goodness, nobody wants to get that kind of letter in the mail. The tax assessor's office admits they do proactively search obituaries to keep records updated. What if it was John Smith who passed away? How many John Smith letters are they going to send out? So how often are they mistakenly declaring people dead? I can't tell you how often it occurs, but I can say it's very rare. She admits someone jumped the gun in her office, declaring Janice dead before hearing back from the Reardons. We are extremely happy that you are alive and well. Janice then got this email saying, the record showing you erroneously passing away has been voided. Janice has been resurrected. I'm finally able to say, yeah, it is a little funny. <laughs> that he was single for six weeks and didn't even know. Uh, <laughs> the widower. I'm very happy she's alive. <laughs> Thank you. Well, the county says it's important to keep its records up to date to collect taxes. After our investigation, the assessor stopped using obituaries and is working on a clear letter so people really understand why they are getting it. So, Curtis, what would have happened if this wasn't fixed? Well, typically they send a couple of letters out, and if nobody responds, it's only at that point they might declare somebody dead. Uh, in this case, the people did respond. Uh, they still declared her dead. That should have happened. But if they declare you dead, it could mean some headaches down the road no dealing doubt. with your taxes. What a hassle. Yeah. All right, have a consumer problem you can't solve. We're here for you. Go to CBS13.com slash call Curtis and fill out our form.